Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to bring you guys a new bit of information that I have found extremely helpful in um, putting together teams for World Boss, and more recently and more uh, importantly, putting together teams for Shadowland because that's the new hype mode. It's actually more difficult than World Boss for me, believe it or not, maybe aside from Infinity Thanos Day, but. Uh, Anyways, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about here, uh, team bonuses. Now, uh, in the past, these team bonuses have been, uh, you know, pretty good ways to get extra stats on characters when you put them together. They've been really good at encouraging people to do like funny teams. For example, like Cho, She-Hulk, and Hulk. They have multiple team bonuses. You know, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, Falcon, and Cap have like four or five team bonuses you know, Punisher, Daredevil, Iron Fist, stuff like that. Um, and it's it's been a way to like uh, really pump out the stats of like your favorite characters, to put your favorite characters together uh, in a team and try to make something work out of it, you know, and to generally bring some more flavor to a game that can feel like it's dominated by a few uh, overpowered characters at times who aren't even that popular uh, uh, like in the canon. So like Sharon Rogers or, or Loki or something like that. So the team-ups uh, have always been pretty cool, but kind of, uh, more recently, kind of useless. Um, you know, the 5% that you get in any one given stat is not really enough, uh, especially with the fact that most people have pretty decent cards nowadays. It covers up the, the, the losses or the holes that you have with skill cooldown. It bumps up your attack, and, you know, there's not really a need to uh, combine and use these, um, these team-ups when uh, you know you're better off just taking a like two or three really powerful characters that may have zero team ups and just putting them together so you'll see you know especially in timeline you'll see teams like Thanos, Shirog and fucking Gwenpool like they don't have any team ups together uh, there's no reason for those characters to fight alongside each other and yet they're there because individually they are uh, like dope um, but there's and also to say this there has been there has been a consistent uh, you know, pool of or a consistent uh, well to draw from of funny names for the team ups. So, for example, Thanos and um, uh, Ebony have the Black Betrayal be from the comics. Um, there was a really funny one uh, released a long time ago. I can't remember. I think it was Hawkeye. Yeah, there's like the Bird, Bird, Bird one, which is pretty funny because the bird is the word. Birds of a feather, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Groot has a really funny one with Mockingbird and uh, someone else. Yeah, tree bird and octopus, like just funny stuff like that. I I appreciate it. Best cosmic duo, you know, it's pretty cool. There's one. It's like Thanos tracker for Drax because he was literally made, created to track down and try to kill Thanos. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, for the longest time, uh, the team ups when the when the game first started, team ups were super important. That's why uh, journalistic integrity was like the most OP team. Uh, but that was like more than a year ago. Uh, since then, team ups have kind of been pretty useless. I mean, they have their niche. Uh, uh, they have their niche somewhere. But anyways, what I'm trying to get to is there is a renewed need for team ups, and there is a renewed um, there is a renewed need to pay attention to the team ups, to know the team ups, and to uh, keep track of them in case you're missing key characters. And here's why. So uh, the reason why team ups are are important is for the following reason. When you have a team up with three characters, so for example, if I go into th uh, Thanos, he's got different team ups here. His uh, Squirrel Girl and Modok team up. He's got the Thor and uh, Hulk. If you scroll down, he has some two people th team ups. All of these team ups will um, will relate to or will uh, trigger each of the characters in the team up to do a specific attack when you press the team up. A button and the team up button if you don't know what I'm talking about is that purple button that you see in Alliance battle that you see in world boss and that you see in um, Shadowland you don't see it in timeline you don't see it in co-op you don't see it in um, battle world but you will see it in Shadowland uh, Alliance battle and world boss and so for example uh, a team that I very popularly use is Thanos with Squirrel Girl and Modok and I don't do that because Squirrel Girl or Modok are uh, good side characters and I don't do that because of the the team up because it's honestly not the best team up that Thanos has I do it because when you have Squirrel Girl and, and Thanos and MODOK together uh, In any order then when you switch to Thanos and you press the purple team up button Thanos will do his six star skill 
Uh, now there there are some instances where this is not uh, the case. I guess the game is not a hundred percent on on that because there have been times where I had a different team up uh, of characters. As you guys saw there, I used the team up and he did the six star skill. So that's an example of what I'm talking about. It's not. I don't think it's a hundred percent for certain skills because, for example, uh, Elsa doesn't have any skills or Elsa doesn't have any team ups where she does her six star skill. But I know there have been times where I was playing and I guess. I don't know if it was the positioning of my Elsa or the positioning of her in relation to the boss, but I pressed the team up button and Elsa did do her six star skill. So I think there's a little bit of um, like randomness to it sometimes. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, uh, all of these stats were data mined anyway, so it's not like these are official confirmations from Netmarble, but this, these, uh, are, these stats and these uh, numbers and these team up bonuses and, and effects are pretty consistent um, based on the data mine information so you you know you can obviously trust them just uh, just keep that in mind for for ones that you want to see but don't see uh, so basically throughout the rest of this video guys I'm gonna refer to like the document uh, it's an Excel uh, Google Docs spreadsheet that has uh, all of the characters listed out with all of the team ups and then next to the characters name it'll show you the um, the skill that they use so, for example, it'll it'll say Thanos, Squirrel Girl, and Modok, and then it'll say next to Thanos his six star skill. Now, if I use obviously a different character, then um, where the fuck is Modok? Then uh, if I switch to Squirrel Girl, obviously she'll do her own skill that's that's predetermined or whatever. But that's just the case. But I'm going to show you guys now that um, the the ordering doesn't matter. I don't need to have Thanos as the leader for this to take effect. Of course, it's better to have Thanos as the leader because his leadership is much, much better than Squirrel Girls or Modox. Um, but uh, we see here, he's also doing his six star skill, even though Squirrel Girl was first, Modok was second, and uh, Thanos was third. So ordering doesn't matter. It just matters if you have the, the correct team up um, prepared or like set up, okay? So that's really what this video is all about. It's about uh, using that, that spreadsheet and um, figuring out the best team ups available that you can use uh, in order to get the most out of your purple team up skill button. Now, I will uh, preface the rest of this information by saying that a lot of these teams overuse uh, like strong high level characters. Um, so what I mean is like, especially for, not so much for uh, World Boss, but for Shadowland, uh, you probably don't want to pair, you know, Ant-Man, Giant-Man and Yellow Jacket together just to get Ant-Man to do his six star, his five star skill when you do the team up button. That's like serious overkill because Ant-Man, especially tier two, he can clear his own Shadowland level solo, Yellow Jacket, same thing, and Giant Man, same thing. So this is more for either like low level um, or very high level Shadowland if you have low level characters because in Shadowland there's no uh, limit, there's no like minimum uh, level requirement or star requirement for characters. And uh, also for world boss, if you're having trouble with very specific levels and you are you just need a little bit more DPS or you little, need a little bit more consistency from your characters when they do the team up. So as you guys could see, I used uh, Ant-Man and he did his five star skill. That will happen almost 100% of the time unless something really buggy happens. It's happened to me before with... Um, against uh, Black Giant, uh, Black Giant, who the fuck is Black Giant? Against Lindsay Lohan? Uh, no, against uh, Gary Coleman, uh, also known as Black Dwarf. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, I, I think that's just a positioning glitch in terms of your character's relation to the enemy's relation. So I'm just gonna go through some of the more popular uh, characters who have very crucial skills. So for example, Thanos does all his, almost all of his damage from his six star skill. So it's really good to have him teamed up with either Squirrel Girl and, I'm not gonna show all of these in a fight, but I'll just mention them. Uh, Squirrel Girl and Modok, or have him paired up with Thor and any other character other than Hulk. So this might sound a little bit weird, but when you pair Thor and uh, Thanos, you get this fight for Orolan uh, 1, and this will make Thanos do his, uh, his six star skill when you do the purple team up button. However, Thanos, Thor, and Hulk, and also I believe Hulk and Thor, um, have different team ups. And I guess what happens is that team up uh, overwrites or takes priority over the Thor, Thanos team up. So as you guys can see here, I just did the six star skill on the team up. But now if I take out Hulkbuster and I put in Hulk, uh, Thanos will no longer do his uh, six star skill on the team up. And it doesn't matter where I put. So yeah, as you guys can see there, you have the uh, heavyweight champions, which is Thor and uh, Hulk. And then you have, or that's Thor, Hulk and uh, Thanos. 
and then grudge match is Thanos and Hulk. So it doesn't matter what position I put this team in. I can put Hulk as the leader. I can put Thanos as the leader. I can put uh, uh, Thor as the leader. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but in the end, uh, Thanos will not do his six star skill when I queue him up because Hulk is there as Hulk. Whoops, Hulk is there as well. So as you could, guys can see, the team up uh, made Thanos do his uh, his three his two star beam, the the lasers, the finger lasers. The, the shocker as they like to say and I'll just show one more time if we switch around the team uh, we're gonna have the same uh, effect Hulk uh, Hulk causes Thanos to not do his six star skill and that's pretty important uh, especially like I said if you're doing world boss and you're just a couple of DPS short or uh, you have a character who's very strong but when you do the team up they do a bad skill and they put themselves in a bad situation uh, you can you know use that guide to uh, change that around to your benefit so again Thanos did his uh, three star or two star skill and uh, it basically makes this team up pretty shit. So uh, a couple of other interesting ones or important ones. Uh, obviously this team is way overpowered but if you do put these three together, Thanos, Proxima and Corvus, then Thanos will do his six star skill when you hit the team up button. Uh, but of course that team is way too powerful even for uh, Shadowland. It's way overkill. Another very popular character that a lot of people have is Silk. Of course, Silk's best uh, skill is her three-star skill where she gets that shield or those those uh, guard hits. Uh, now, of course, having an extra refresh of the guard hits when you get into a tight situation is obviously super important. Uh, that's why a lot of people pair Sharon Rogers with Agent 13 because that will make Sharon Rogers do her three-star skill when you do the team up. That's This is basically what the, the video is uh, you know, doing a macro uh, discussion of. So if you pair Silk with uh, Spider-Man and Doc Ock, it doesn't matter if he has the uniform or not, he just needs to be there. You'll get a bunch of cool team-up bonuses, which is great, but you'll also get Silk to do her three-star skill uh, when you do the team-up. Now, of course, if you want Silk to do another skill, you can check out the document and you can see uh, the other team-up bonuses. Um, it doesn't matter if Silk is listed as the first. It doesn't matter if the character that you're looking for is listed as first, second, or third. So as you guys can see there, she did it. And now I could do it again if it got debuffed or whatever. It doesn't matter if your character that you're looking at is listed as the first, second, or third in terms of where what column they're in. Um, it just matters what the number is next to the skill that they... Uh, the number is next to their name because that will indicate the skill that they use. So if I take away, um, if I take away these characters and I put uh, Spider-Man and Jessica Jones... Uh, if I just put Spider-Man, she does have a team up, but she will no longer do her three-star skill. But then if I add Jessica Jones, who I recently recently six-starred, she will do her, her three-star skill. Uh, I can also put in Cho. It'll make her do her three-star skill. And as you guys can see, they, they all get team-up bonuses as well. And then, strangely enough, I can also put in Daisy. Uh, Daisy will also give uh, a, a team-up, and it will give Silk the three-star skill when she does her um, team-up attack. Uh, another popular one that I'm kind of sad about is Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight's six star skill is by far his best uh, skill, but unfortunately he only has one team up where he does it. And uh, I can't show it to you guys right now because I don't have uh, Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi. Uh, but anyways, it's uh, Moon Knight, Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi and Daredevil. So we're going to pretend that Iron Fist is Shang-Chi. And then basically this team up, uh, it's, except Iron Fist is Shang-Chi. Uh, would make Moon Knight do his 6-star skill. All of the other Moon Knight team-ups do not make him do the 6-star skill, which is pretty disappointing. And also, like I said, you don't really want to pair uh, too many OP characters together because it's just overkill. Uh, another popular one, of course, Ant-Man. You want him to do his 5-star skill. If you pair Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket and any third, then uh, Ant-Man will do his 5-star skill. If you, of course, pair him with Yellow Jacket and Giant Man, he will also do his 5-star skill. Interestingly enough, if you pair Ant-Man with Black Panther and Gamora, he will also do his 5-star skill. That's a very cute team. I kind of like that one. And uh, Ant-Man plus um, Punisher and uh, Winter Soldier, another pretty cute team if I say so myself. I'd probably have it like this, or actually like this to get the most out of the leadership, then uh, you also get the uh, the five star on the on the purple button mashing. Uh, another very popular one, Iron Fist. Uh, his best skill by far is his five star skill. And fortunately, he does have a lot of team ups where he will do his five star skill. So if you're trying to get a really, really fast world boss clear, like 
you know, under whatever, a minute or whatever, but you don't have the werewolf daisy buff, you can try one of these team ups and you can do, you know, Iron Fist's five star skill into the team up five star skill into another five star skill and try to just crank out some massive dank vapes uh, in terms of DPS. So Iron Fist plus uh, Jessica Jones will give you the five star skill on Iron Fist. Uh, Iron Fist plus Drax and uh, Chubby Chub, uh, DJ Khaled himself, will also give you the uh, five star skill on the team up. Uh, Iron Fist plus the best Netflix show on right now, well, not Stranger Things, but it's okay. Uh, plus Luke Cage and Moon Knight, but again, like I said, this is overkill. All three of these characters are great on their own. Uh, two of them have, one of them has a great leadership, and so you probably don't want to do that team up just for that. And then also Iron Fist plus the White Black Panther, a White Tiger, who I don't have to show you guys. Last but not least, guys, if you have Tier 2 Carnage, uh, there are a couple of team-ups where he will do his 6-star skill, which is, of course, his best skill with the Tier 2 uh, passive. If you put him with Spidey and uh, Venom, good old Venom, good old Eddie Brock, Brock Lesnar, where the fuck are you, bro? You back in the WWE? Am I blind? Where's Venom? Whole okay, there we go. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, these three together will force Carnage to do his six star skill on the team up. And then also, again, it's overkill. But if you use Carnage with Luke Cage and Daredevil, he will also do his uh, six star skill on team up. So, guys, there are a lot more uh, team ups that are important uh, that you can find from the document that I've talked about. You can find it in the description below, the vi in the video description, if you uh, aren't sure where to find it. And, uh, you know, peruse through that you should probably uh, bookmark that and go back to it uh, and uh, unfortunately there are no team ups where Loki does the uh, clones skill so you definitely need your cooldown up on that one actually there are no uh, team ups where Loki does the three star skill either so get fucking wrecked anyways guys I hope you've liked this video I hope it's been helpful and insightful to you and hopefully it will help you out with world boss and shadowland because I did I have used it specifically in both those game modes and it has been useful to me so with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are, feedback on the video, and of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.